What just asked the guy? I just said, the painting. Voted Scotland's favourite painting, Salvador Dali's Christ of St John of the Cross. You see the crucified Christ as if from above, looking down on him, and he seems to be leaning forward from the cross. And there's this almost trompe l'oeil effect which makes you feel that it's really in 3D. Mm, and a real f- feeling of ascendancy, both spiritually and literally. It does look almost as if he is going up to heaven because he is up near the top of the top of the composition. To me, he's ascending to the house of his father. He's, he's going home. You both feel as if you're looking up at the cross, but also the figure on the cross is coming out towards you. So Dali took a long, long time to get the angle right of the picture so that you would have this dual sensation. Christ is seen in very strong contrast. There's a light playing on parts of his body, but other parts are quite dark, and there's a very strong shadow cast against the crossbar of the cross by one of his arms against a very, very strong black sky, that the sky that they mention in the Bible at the time Christ died, I suppose. So he's looking down on the world that he's leaving. Yeah. So what is he thinking? Well, as, as we said at the time, we think because there's no, no blood anywhere, there's no suffering, there's suffering, he must be passing on up to the house of his father. He's been accepted in the house of his father. Plus, I mean, the tranquility. Everything's all nice and calm. The whole way right through it, except up to the top and it goes out with the blackness. I mean, that's the thing as well, yeah. Yeah, it's the gold, the gold, the light, the gold and the shadow and the gold on and on. Down there, I know, it's just looking down at the world, no, who's came to save us for. And for me, it's more the kind of the lifting of the cross going upwards. And also, when, when I look at the painting today, I think the body is stressed, but it's not in agony. And it's after, almost after the crucifixion when his spirit and his body was released. And I find it a beautiful moment. Although the body looks stressed, it kind of looks calm and it's no longer in agony. The way it's just kind of floating in the sky. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful painting almost like infinity, it's almost as if he's floating up to infinity and below it there's either a sunrise or a sunset there's certainly beams coming down from above. Here we are with a strongly and cleverly foreshortened um, torso so there he is floating in the sky at the foot are um, uh, fishermen I believe he took them from drawings by Velasquez. You see people standing in front of it in the galleries standing just in awe most people do not speak at all. They just look at it, and they look at it, and they look at it, and they go off in a reverie. Things are triggered off in their subconscious. Just struck him again. If you come to us, I'd like to see it. There are no words for certain things. There are no words for that. It's just, it's, it's wonderful. It makes me shiver. A few impressions of what it's like to stand before this painting. Dali's Christ of St John of the Cross. There are no nails holding him in place. His head is bowed and we can see him from above. But it's a huge icon. Joe Mulholland, art dealer and journalist. This was just monumental and it does seem as if you're going from the world in which we live, the human world, out into something beyond that we all actually feel is there. No, nobody's ever very sure. Uh, my dad passed away and he was 90 um, and he's always talked about the Dali for years. In 1952 he came and queued outside the building. The queue was so long for him to come in to see the Dali when it first arrived and he said it was worth the wait. He's loved the painting 1952 and he still loved it when he passed away and he always talked about it. It was an immediate hit among the members of the public, generally speaking, because it was such a fantastic composition. It made such an impact on them. The other side of the coin was that there were some people who didn't like it, but possibly because they didn't trust Dali, they didn't really think he was religious. So there were some rather uh, strong letters written to the press, but not, not all.